Hey, what's going on? This is Brian from Ben's Comics and collaboration with comicbookinvest.com. And in this video, I'm gonna give you my weekly picks for new comics that are coming out Wednesday, May 15th, 2019. Now, if this is your first time on my channel, I do a lot of comic and pop culture related videos. So please consider subscribing. And for those that have been watching these weekly picks videos, big announcement. This will be the last week for the current format of my weekly picks. I'm gonna change it up a little bit going forward. I'm gonna reduce the picks some, but I'm gonna provide more reason why those are my picks of the week. So that's gonna be the change of the format that's gonna start next week. So be on the lookout for that. We kick the week off with last stop on the red line number one. Detective Magdalia Torres investigates a vicious strangling on a Boston subway car with no feasible leads. As prudential evidence produces dead ends, Magdalia inadvertently takes in a vagrant named Yusuf, who may have a supernatural connection to the crime at hand. Batman number 71. This continues the fall in the fallen story arc. Will it be father and son working together or tearing each other apart? When it comes to the Waynes, expect a little of both. In the quest to get Bruce Wayne to hang up the cape and cow, Thomas Wayne is going to have to use a little tough love. We have a regular cover by Mikel Janin. There's also a regular price variant by Frank Cho. Justice League number 24. This is part 5 to the 6th Dimension story arc. One of the members betrays the team and decides to side with the World Forger. We have a regular cover by Jorge Jimenez. There's also a gorgeous regular price variant by Jerome Pena. I love that variant. I'm going to be picking that up. Naomi number five. In this issue, all the secrets are revealed. We find out who is Naomi, where did she come from, and what can she do. This is going to be a really popular issue. A lot of people are already aware of Naomi. Really hot on the secondary market, so definitely recommend picking this up. Nightwing number 60. This is going to have a regular Chris Mooneyham cover, but why I even have this in this video is for the regular priced B cover variant. It is by Warren Love. I know I just butchered that name. L-O-U-W. Great artist. He's done a lot of fantastic covers. This B cover is no different. The only thing I don't like about it is these portrait covers. They don't seem to have the pizzazz and really accent the artistic ability that this artist can do on these covers. Like if you saw the KRS Comics exclusive Detective Comics 1000 variant he did. Absolutely phenomenal. But I like this artist. That's why I'm going to pick up the B cover for this. And that's why it's in this video. Teen Titans number 60. This is the epilogue to the Terminus Agenda. Love the story. Didn't really finish the way I wanted it to, but still a great story. This is going to have a regular cover by Bernard Chang. But what I like on this is the regular priced variant. Similar to the Nightwing, this is the same type of variant, but this is by Alex Garner. Another one of my favorite artists, so that's the cover I'll be picking up. Farmhand number 8. I absolutely love this story by Rob Gilroy. Fantastic series, so I continue to pick this up. There's rumors that it's being looked at by multiple companies for a possible television show, and that Rob Gilroy is currently writing a TV pilot, but I have not seen anything for certain. But regardless, definitely recommend you pick it up and give it a read. Little Bird number three. This is another one that's a great story so far. I've had to read both issues, number one and two, multiple times just to fully digest the story. But in this issue, Axe leaves Elder's home to destroy the Northern Guard, and Little Bird is left behind to take out a small team of enemy soldiers when she stumbles upon a family secret that changes everything. <laughs> Amazing Spider-Man number 21. What's left of the animal villains are now united under the Vulture, and while that animal army are going up against the Hunterbots, Spidey's too tied up with Kraven to do anything. This has got four different covers for it. There's a regular Umberto Ramos cover, a regular price connecting variant by Lionel Francis Yu, a regular price battle lines variant, and a 1 in 25 incentive variant. Daredevil number five. Now, if there was only one book that I was allowed to read from Marvel every month, it would be Daredevil right now. Chip Zdarsky is doing a fantastic job. I enjoy the interior art by Marco Chichetto. I know a lot of people don't really care for him. But I do like it, and this book has just been great. Highly recommend you guys pick this up. Tedesco's been doing the regular covers. So to me, it's a triple MVP. Great writer, great interior art, great cover art. So regular cover by Tedesco. There's an incentive hidden gem variant by John Romita Jr. Giant Man number one. This is another War of the Realms tie-in. 
Normally, a lot of these tie-in issues, I'm waiting. Hopefully, they just put all the War of the Realms books in one giant omnibus. But I'm actually excited to pick this one up. The solicit reads, At the behest of all Mother Freya, four men must rise to monstrous heights and infiltrate the most savage territory of New Jotunheim, which is Florida. There's three covers for it. There's a regular cover. There's a regular price Dale Keown variant. And there's an incentive remastered variant. Guardians of the Galaxy number five. There's a few reasons why I like this book and have it in my weekly picks. Well, number one, great story. Number two, great writer, Donnie Cates, really, really hot. But also on this one, I love the Battle Lines variant for it. And finally, we don't know where the MCU is going to go down the road. Kevin Feige does say that after the next Guardians movie, the team will switch up. So could it be some of these newer books from Donnie Cates or will they pick back from the older catalog? Either way, love this book for the story alone, but all those other reasons are worth picking this book up. And if I were to pick one, I actually like the Battle Lines variant, so that's the one I'll be picking up. Immortal Hulk number 17, Bruce Banner's trapped inside Shadow Base Site A, powerless and hunted by their top assassin. This has a regular cover by Alex Ross. It also has a regular price Battle Lines variant. A lot of people saying this title's cooling off. I don't think it's cooling off. I just think people have their attention attracted elsewhere. Still great story by Al Ewing. Still great covers by Alex Ross. I like the regular cover on this. That's what I'm picking up. Marvel Tales Iron Man number one. This is going to reprint Tales of Suspense number 39, Tales of Suspense number 45, and Iron Man number 150. It has a regular cover by Jim Bartel, and it has an incentive virgin variant by Jim Bartel as well. This is going to be my pick of the week. The only thing I don't like about this is these Marvel Tales issues. I wish they would reprint better stories, but it is my pick of the week. Jim Bartel, these Virgin variants, these incentives, they've been going scorching hot on the secondary market. I think this will follow that trend. But what I'm interested to see is, does it hold up over time or does it come crashing down? War of the Realms number four. Now, I mentioned earlier, I've been waiting, hoping they put all the issues together into one omnibus. But the books I have been picking up are the actual War of the Realms books. And this one I look forward to picking up as well. Great story. Love Jason Aaron. Love him on his Thor run. This issue is going to be fantastic as well. It's got a bunch of different covers as usual for Marvel. It's going to have a regular cover by Arthur Adams. It's going to have a Young Guns variant by Aaron Cooter. There's a connecting variant by Giuseppe Comancoli. There's an international variant by Billy Tan. There's a Battle Lines variant by Max Lim. All those are regular priced. Then you have an incentive variant by Victor Hugo. Love that. It's the Daredevil cover, the God Without Fear. Really enjoy that. Also, I really like the incentive Hildebrandt variant. And then there's also an incentive black and white Arthur Adams variant. War of the Realms Strike Force War Avengers number one. Now, I don't even know how they're going to get that whole trade dress on the book without covering up the art. But either way, I have this book in this video for one specific reason. And it's a super, 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 super long shot speculation. If you haven't seen Avengers Endgame, fast forward to the next book because I'm going to put some spoilers in here. If you have seen the movie, when Captain America goes back with Tony Stark, he sees Peggy. Peggy's talking to someone and they mention the name Braddock, which is Captain Britain. So I like this book because you have a lot of people that could be members of a potential Avengers team in the MCU later on. With Disney having rights to some of these characters now and maybe a partnership with Sony. You could get some Venom in there, some Deadpool, Captain Britain, Captain Marvel. Of course, Black Widow's gone, but Winter Soldier, and who knows what they could do with the Hulk. So, $4, $5, low-cost buy-in, buy it, buy a copy, stash it away. Nothing will probably come of it, but if it does, I have it there. So that's why I have that book in this video. There is the regular cover by Kim Jacinto, but there's also a regular price variant by Nick Bradshaw. I like the regular cover because it's got the whole team on it, and it speaks to the whole reason why I have it here to begin with. Aberrant number two. This comes from Action Labs. As the freshly chummy David and Corduroy drink, fight, and fornicate their way through South America and search for a top secret Norco base, we get a fascinatingly twisted peek at Rook's home life. There's a regular cover for this, but then there's a regular price variant. I have this in this video for the regular price variant. If you collected baseball cards in the 90s, then this cover definitely rings home to you. Everyone's aware of it. It reminds you of the 1989 Fleer Billy Ripken Air card. 
that alone is the reason why I'm going to pick this up and it's going to be that variant cover. So there it is guys, those are my picks for new comics that are coming out Wednesday, May 15th, 2019. As always, comment down below, let me know what books you guys are picking up. Question of the day. If you send comics to be graded, do you use CGC or do you use CBCS? Comment down below, let me know what your answer is. I'm anxious to hear what everyone is using. Or if you're using someone else like PGX or some other grading company, comment down below, let me know as well. This is Brian with Superman's Comics, and I'll see you guys next time.